Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to figure out what we're gonna do, but uh, when we're gonna get on trail, what's the verdict? Any idea? Maybe tomorrow. We'll have to take the pack off because we gotta put the suitcases in first. Yeah. It is July 3rd and we are trying to get packed to get to the trail. We're gonna get started today. We are packed to the rim. We're at Waterton Canyon, getting ready to start our segment. There is an outhouse here. All right, it's official. We are heading on to the Colorado Trail. We're actually on trail <laughs> a little early, right? What time is it? It's 12.27. All right, so we have 8.7 to go today. We waited till the hottest part of the day to start hiking. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> there we are, Colorado Trail. Lots of mountain bikers, horses, and backpackers. We're getting a late start because we needed to get food this morning, get prepared, get a shuttle. The shuttle itself an hour from where we dropped our car and it was an hour to get our car there so it took a little while this morning so that's part of the reason for not starting till 12 30. it's going to be a long hot road walk these two pipes pull water from the south platte river sends it by gravity to Marston Reservoir to give to the Denver metropolitan area. We've been hiking about a half hour and it is lunchtime. So uh, we're gonna stop down here by the water. And it looks like they have a trash bin. That's a surprise. There's a outhouse at the 1.8 mile by the first small dam. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. In case you're wondering what we're up to, we're on the Colorado Trail. These next few days are going to be through sections 1, 2, and 3. We're starting late on Monday afternoon and should get off sometime on Thursday. Get resupplied and then figure out where we're going to go from there. We don't quite have a plan yet. We have Pollyanna, Clover, Slider, and me. So stick around. Let's see what we have in store for us. Ready to get going? We're going. Wow, another outhouse, a helpline up here at the three mile mark. We're passing the Morriston Diversion Dam. You'll notice the signs for no bank access. So the best place to get water in this stretch was where we took a lunch break at 1.8 and it is a very long uh, walk on the road very exposed very hot so make sure you have water we have cactus if you're wondering why we picked section one two and three for a couple of reasons is really is to get acclimated it doesn't go above maybe nine two it really is to get us used to the packs again so i hope it works i usually go into these treks super excited i have some trepidation with this trail uh, if you looked at any of my previous videos Terry and I attempted the John Muir Trail last year and I couldn't make it because of the altitude. So we're trying to see if I 
can do altitudes at all. So that's one problem. The other problem is I'm getting some swelling around my ankles. It helps when I elevate my feet and uh, do massage. So I gotta watch that. And about a week ago, I dropped the flashlight on my toe. It's not totally healed. So I got a few things going against me. I can't believe how many restrooms they have on this section. We're at about 4.6 or 7 in. Let's see, it's called Rattlesnake Shelter. You can see an outhouse behind us and we've passed quite a few. And what have you heard? So one of the things is these rivers that come down through here are the drinking water for a number of other states and also, of course, for Colorado. So for this very popular Waterton Canyon Trail, there are lots of these pit toilets along the way to make sure that people don't leave Everything feces and urine everywhere. that could get into the water source. So, yeah. which I appreciate. <laughs> I love the water. Looks like a house up here, which is strange. in 1983. It is precarious. Hard to reach. Just going up those stairs. I feel it. Just past the dam at 6.2, I think. Six plus miles and now the elevation. How you feeling? Happy I didn't keel over. <laughs> it's a little uh, better in the shade, right? I think I was, I was close. Well, you have to worry about heat exhaustion and heat stroke on this trail. Yeah, especially that yeah. segment. Colorado Trail, segment one. Exposed. Bitter <laughs> Creek, 1.6. Nope, we got 1.2 to the top to get to Lenny's rest. Can you hear the noise? Click, click, click. I think these are oak trees. Not sure what variation. We are finally on a trail though, and it does go up. So this is Lenny's rest. He was uh, killed in a hiking accident when he was 18 years old. Lenny's rest was the top, and we got to go down about eight tenths to the camp. If we can find a site, I don't know what we're going to do otherwise. We'll have to get water and keep moving. It's really beautiful through here. Different flowers. It's a little bit slanted. This is where Pollyanna and Clover are set up. Wait, where's your tent? Huh? Where's your tent? Up the trail. Up the trail? We just put our bear canisters away from our tent. Terry and I are down here. There's a guy named Charlie on the spot near us. So this is our setup. 
We're wrapping up day one. It's 7.30. Dinner is done. Water is collected. Everybody's in their tent. Terry's ready to go to bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a tough, tough day. Very sunny out, so... Um, that... <laughs> yeah, it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit. 86? At least. Yeah. So direct sun, 86 degrees until we got past that big dam. So, uh, my hair's a mess. It is time to go to bed. There it comes. <laughs>